In order to test urine for a potential infection, it's important to do a urine dipstick test. To do the test, you'll require a watch, a urine sample pot, and a urine dipstick testing kit. It's important to ensure that the urine sample tube is labelled correctly. The urine sample tube should include the name of the patient, if they are in hospital, the ward number that they are on, the number of the patient, the specimen, the date of birth of the patient, the time the sample was taken, and the date. The urinalysis reagent strips will come in a tube similar to this. You should always check that the expiry date has not been reached. When the patient is ready, you should ask them to provide a sample of urine into the pot. You should ask them to try and fill up to the 20 milliliter line so that the reagent strip can be dipped fully into the pot. Once this has been done, take a reagent strip from the pot. Replace the lid so that no air gets into the pot because this can affect the remaining reagent strips and place it on top of the pot. Then take your urine sample, unscrew the lid and place the reagent strip fully into the urine so that all colours are immersed. Once this has been done, remove it. Leave it on the side. And start your timer. This should be done for one minute. At exactly 60 seconds you should read the strip. You should hold it against the pot and compare it against the colour chart. As you can see from this, this indicates that the urine sample that was tested was normal, as can be read by this first column, by comparing the colours. If the urine was abnormal, you would be able to see whereabouts it was abnormal by looking at the different colour charts and comparing it. When your timer reaches 90 seconds, you should then compare the urine dipstick to the chart for leukocytes. This can be done by reading this top column. As you can see, the findings from this urine sample were negative. Once you've done this, you should dispose of the urine into the appropriate clinical waste bin.